Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jaira. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Black Dragon graphic presets and load them into your viewer. I've already did this video before, so this is a refresher video for the new year, of course. And um, the presets I used in my last video like this, um, well, he has already put out his 2023 presets, so I will be working with those today. So yeah, it's just a refresher video on how to do this, and plus people have been asking. And I'm also going to show you my personal graphic presets as well. So first things first, whenever you download the viewer and you open it up for the first time, you won't have any presets saved. So in order to install presets you first have to save one in the viewer so in order to do that whenever you open the viewer you're going to go to the top right hand corner up here this little rectangle shape thingy is where your graphic presets are going to be showing up and where they're saved and stuff but you'll see that yours will be empty right so in order to save one all you do is go down to um well it won't be like that but you're going to go to preferences, you're going to click on dragon, go to edit, and then you're going to go to preferences, or you can click control P to get to preferences. Open that up, you're going to go to display y'all, and you're just going to save this as is. You don't have to mess with anything, you don't have to tweak it or anything, just save it as is, just so that you can get a preset, you know, saved in your viewer first. So whenever you click it, you're going to go to the very bottom right here and you're gonna type in default right and then you're gonna click save and then you're gonna click OK whenever you do that it'll show up in this little um, this little graphic window pane right here so after you do that then you'll be able to proceed to the next step alright y'all so we are on Facebook this is where Swain's um, graphic presets are they're located inside of his Facebook group called Photography Help Tips and Tricks SL Edition. So if you have a Facebook page or if you're on there active or whatever, um, definitely join this group because it's very helpful when it comes to taking pictures on SL, you know, improving your pictures and stuff like that. So we are going to go to the little search bar, type in graphic, and find his 2023 graphic presets right here this is where his 2022 ones are as well so he still has them up um but right here on the post you see it's very detailed um he left a lot of information so make sure y'all read it because you might not even need this video <laughs> just read this and yeah read it and see what he has to say he also linked my old video in the description as well so yeah but basically you're gonna go to the google drive link right here you're gonna click it and here's all the presets now i already have some of these installed so basically i'm gonna you know download the ones that i don't have installed so just for the videos you know purpose or whatever um, the ones I don't have installed is the newer one, so you're going to right click on it, download, and you might get this little file thingy up that said it's dangerous, but you're going to download anyway. And I think I don't have the landscape one, so I'm going to download that one. And I don't think I got this one either. Alright, so there's three that I downloaded. Alright y'all, so whenever you have those downloaded, they will show up in your downloads in your file explorer. As you can see here, I downloaded three. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the area where you put these presets at. So, you're going to click on Windows C. Um, first things first, when you get right here, make sure under the View tab right here on the drop down menu where it says Show make sure hidden items is checked so that you can see all of your hidden folders okay because you need to see your hidden folders in order to get where i'm going 
So after you have, you know, made all of your hidden folders visible, you're going to go to, um, you're going to go to users and then you're going to click on the name of your profile. Mine is KYT18. And then after that, you're going to click on app data. Then you're going to go to roaming. Then you're going to go to black dragon, user settings, presets, and graphic. This area, yours should only have one preset, which is the default one that we made previously. But you all, you know, I already have my setup, so that's why I have so many. But you should only be seeing one, which is called default, the one that we created in the beginning of the video. So whenever you do that, you want to go and open, whenever you get here, you want to go and open up a new um tab so i'm gonna right click on that tab down there then you're gonna go to downloads you're gonna click on one preset hold down control click the next one click the next one and then you're going to to drag the presets into the folder after you do that you're all set um you're gonna log out of black dragon re-log and in that top preset window pane, you should see all of your presets now show up in that little that little pane window that we was talking about earlier. So getting into my very own personal graphic presets for Black Dragon. Um, we're gonna go to preferences. Right now we are in my mid settings. This is my settings I use uh, on the day to day because I do use Black Dragon as my daily viewer. So this is the setting preset that I use every day, all day. Sometimes, most of the time, I do use this also for taking pictures because I do do like post picture editing in Photoshop. So I do use this the majority of time as well when I'm taking pictures. It just depends, y'all. It depends on how I want the picture to look, yada, yada, yada. But this is my mid settings. And if you want to, you can go along and, um, you know, compare or, you know, use my settings or whatever you, the case may be. I'm fine with that. Uh, but yeah, these are my settings. My machinima bar looks like this for this preset. And I'm just going to scroll down so you guys can see. Maybe you got to pause the video. <laughs> Slow it down. I don't know. But yeah, so I don't use shadows for, th for this preset. And I don't use depth of fill because, I mean, I don't feel like I need it. And I don't think that's a good idea to be walking around with shadows and all that stuff. That stuff is very taxing on your GPU so yeah that's my presets my day to day presets I think that's everything um, yeah that's everything okay so yeah that's my day to day presets now my other presets is a pictures preset and um it looks like this but keep in mind it will differ based on the wind light I'm using so if I was to change this wind light to let's say um, let's use one of Swain wind lights as well let's do one of these so see it'll differ based on the you know, when light and all that good stuff. See, so boom. Now it looks lighter a little bit. Um, you can always, you know, tweak the wind light and all that good stuff if you wanted to. But yeah, that's just how it looks. Um, without tweaking anything. Okay, so y'all, I'll do a separate video. Um, 
on how to how I take my pictures if you guys would like to see that um, but yeah just let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see how I take my photos in Black Dragon you know all that good stuff um, but yeah I hope this video was helpful to you guys I hope you guys understand it and if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to leave them in the comment section below I do respond <laughs> so yeah just leave them in the comment section below and I will reply to y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button okay and I will see you guys in my next video bye